What's going on guys, Jagira here, and today I thought we'd have a little bit of a speculation about the up and coming reworks to the old heroes, and more specifically about Hyper Armor, Bashes, and my thoughts on them. Now the heroes rumoured to be receiving reworks are Peacekeeper, Valk, Orochi, and Warden. We don't know how powerful these reworks are going to be, is it going to be the odd damage adjust and mini changes as seen in cases of Nobushi and Highlander, is it a whole new kit and some new mechanics like in Kensei and Berserker, but as I said the main thing I want to focus on in this video is bashes and hyper armor and what they're bringing to the game. You see at the start of season 5 we've got the new Kensei and Berserker. We also got changes to Highlander and Conk, but I really just want to focus on Kensei and Berserker for now. Now with these two heroes, we saw two pretty big changes, and they was Kensei getting his Pummel Strike, and Berserker getting insane amounts of Hyper Armor and Uninterruptible Stance. And I believe that with the reworks happening to the new heroes currently, you know, Orochi, Peacekeeper, Valkyrie, Warden, etc., we're going to be seeing more bashes and more Hyper Armor added to the game. To be honest with you, I really hope I am right. I would love it if they added more bashes and hyper armor. In cases like Berserker, okay, it is rather annoying when you have to deal with lightning fast with light attacks, hyper armor, uninterruptible stance, but this does make the game faster, and that is good. Unless you're on console, in which case, I'm very sorry for you, it must be tough. Now, my only issue is, is the way they do bashes and hyper armor, and let me explain. You see, there is a good and a bad way of doing bashes. I'm gonna focus on bashes for the time being. The good way is when you use it to get combat started, you get that damage flowing, but if it is avoided, then you are punished. A perfect example is Kensei's Pummel Strike. It forces a reaction. Okay, so I could do my Pummel Strike, and if the target dodges and I still do the light attack, well, that's my fault, and I'm going to be punished by allowing my enemy to do a light parry. To a lesser extent, crowd control also plays a part, such as Gladiator's Toe Stab. That is also another good example. You do a light attack, and yes, I know the Toe Stab is a very annoying and controversial thing, but if you avoid the Toe Stab, you do get a free guard break on the Gladiator. Once again, proof just how bashes and crowd control is very effective. Now, there is the wrong way of doing bashes, and using Glad as an example again, his zone. You see, his zone is almost too quick to react to. And if you do react to it, well, the Gladiator can just faint the second part of his zone and suffer completely no drawbacks. And that is absolutely unfair. As long as they manage to do bashes and crowd control in a situation, and they add it, sorry, in a situation where it can be punished by a correct dodge or doing a light attack at the right time or something like that, I have no issue with it. It's a good way to start combat and to get it flowing. Once again, my only issue is when they add bashes, which is just unfair. You know, there's hardly, you have almost no drawback to using it. Uh, another good example is Conqueror's Shield Smash. I don't really like it as well, mainly for the fact that it can be varied. Okay, I believe that every bash should have a set timing. Being able to delay the timing of a shield bash to then catch a target out is just not right. Especially with the way out of stamina works and things like that, it's just a little bit... Yeah, nah. So what they should do is have more bashes, but enable it so that they're not completely broken and unfair. On to Hyper Armor, and there isn't too much to really say about this, apart from is it done a right way or a wrong way, a bit like we just mentioned with bashes. For example, in things like Highlander, Warden, Kensei, it's a nice little addition. It makes trading fun and can force someone to think twice before they're just interrupting you with light attacks. For Berserkers, it's slightly different, and this is mainly just due to the class Berserker is. Now, let's look at all the heroes who do have Hyper Armor in their kit in one way, shape, form, or another. They are Heavies, occasionally a Vanguard, as we see in the case of Kensei, and then Hybrids, with a mix between Heavy and Vanguard. Well, Berserker is an Assassin, a shocker I know. And these lightning fast attacks, and the insane damage that a Berserker can output with Hyper Armor on top, is too much in my opinion. This is a bit of my own bias showing through due to the sheer amounts of time I've had my ass handed to me by the reworked Berserkers, but I'll put this horse to you. What do you guys think? All I just know is that there are the rumors of Orochi and Peacekeeper being reworked. They are both assassins. And I pray to God it isn't to the extent that Berserker got reworked or I am just going to cry. 
So guys, I hope you did enjoy this speculation video, this little discussion video about what was going to be done with bashes and hyper armors and when they get added to heroes movesets, if they get added to heroes movesets, because obviously I do not know what Ubisoft is planning to do. So tell me guys, what are your views on bashes and hyper armor? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you not care at all? Leave those comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, that is greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and you love the content, why not hit that subscribe button to become absolutely awesome. Guys, the Discord and Twitch links are in the description box down below. And as always, I have been Jagira, you all have been amazing for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care and bye-bye.